Summer vacation is in full swing. A lot of the families just looking for something to do. Yeah, great news around here. You don't have to travel far to find a lot of fun. Less than two hours from here, you and your family can experience a variety of fun family activities. News Channel 11's John Jenko shows us some of the fun the Smoky Mountains has to offer in this week's destination vacation. This season, Pigeon Forge is breaking new ground. The brand new Diggin' Zone theme park gives you the chance to take your childhood sandbox to full scale. We want to give people a unique experience, bucket list type item uh, to get on a piece of construction equipment and work the real thing. It's not a toy. Technically located in Sevierville, Diggin' Zone opened its doors in March. It's loaded with real construction equipment, but with the safeguards in place for all ages and skill levels to enjoy. You know, the kids love this kind of stuff, but this will bring the kid out and all the adults that come to Diggin' Zone. Where else will you actually get to dig a hole with an excavator. Let's give it a shot. It might take a while to get used to those controls, but Diggin' Zone President Weston O'Dell says everyone eventually gets the hang of it. And it's amazing, too, all the um, equipment that you operate requires a lot of skill, and how fast kids pick up on the skill is pretty remarkable. There's also plenty to look at. Big-time construction equipment covers the grounds. That's off-limits for play, but everyone gets the chance to get hands-on with the smaller versions below watching them light up and they come running through the gate, just hopping and skipping. And then by the end, the parents are usually lit up because they didn't realize how fun it would be. Even experienced equipment operators have never played a game with an excavator. The park offers plenty of thrills. Oh boy. And spills. Here at the digging zone, you can hop on a mini excavator and actually uh, knock over some things and think this is more my speed. There's all kinds of games here. That wide variety of games provides a competitive flair, but it also exposes kids to the hands-on experience of a real construction site. It opens up doors for opportunities for vocation. So not only do they come here and see how fun this is, but realize that they can do this for a living one day. If you're looking for something a bit more high intensity, <laughs> head down the road to the new Lost Mine Mountain Coaster in Pigeon Forge. This mile long ride takes you through an abandoned mine zipping through the hills. It isn't just a mountain coaster. Uh, it, it really is a full experience. Um, so it doesn't matter if, if you're four years old or if you're 104 years old. Some careful attention to detail went into the theme. All the way from the loading area to the bottom of the hill, there's a story being told. An abandoned mine that bears have taken over and uh, they've, they've found their, their supply of honey. They see that story truly come to life. You control the pace of the coaster. You can ride and enjoy the scenery or go full speed ahead. They say the average time on this thing is about eight minutes. We're going to go for the faster end of that. Go full send here. Let's see what it's got. It's a thrill winding through the four downhill sections on the coaster, but keep your eyes peeled. Bears lurk around every corner. You never know what you're going to see, uh, either, either overhead or coming at you uh, as a surprise. And you can cap off the day with a round of mini golf, keeping with that bear theme. In Pigeon Forge, John Jenko, News Channel 11.